A beautiful Leo's and welcome to your next 48 hours for April 2023. We are getting you a number that spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, basically wherever you see digits. Welcome or welcome back if you are returning Leo. This channel is for anyone who resonates with a strong Leo placement in their chart. Please take what messages are yours, leave the rest behind, and let's see your number. Leo is 1010. I am patient. All right, Leo, some of you born on the 10th, it doesn't have to be, it's just the energy. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. You know what I feel, or actually what I heard? I almost feel like some of you feel like something should have happened by now. I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for all of you. But I heard in my head when I got that card that there is something that still requires your patience but there's a part of you that really feels like it should have happened for you by now. There's a part of you that really feels like you're getting closer and closer to the time of when or past the time when you feel like something should have happened for you. Spirit is indicating not yet. Keep your thoughts positive about it. Your angels are working behind the scenes for you. So you as a personality of a human, feel like it should have happened by now. But in universal time, it is still in the works. So we have peace. I am a being of peace and I release all negative energy. All right, so I feel like you could be feeling pretty down about something. Should have already found love by now. Should have already heard from them by now. Should have already gotten a raise by now. Should have already healed by now. There's something that you feel like it should have happened by now. And Spirit is wanting you to know that just because it doesn't go in your time frame doesn't mean that it will never happen. So let that bring peace in your soul, Leo. Let that bring peace to you. That you are love. You are light. You have two energies of the letter P. Some of you, your name starts with a P. Probably one of the most random letters that we could go and get. But let's see what angel is supporting you. So it looks for your next 48. You're going to... Try to refocus your energy back into being patient because it looks like as you have come to this reading, you feel like something should have happened by now. Honestly, I have a cold. I feel like it should have gone away by now. So I get you. I really understand. Some of you, it's a lot bigger than that, you know? But it doesn't have to be large, it could be very simple. Let's see what we have here in your supporting angel. Ah, the angel of remembrance, card 28. So you have somebody coming through for you on the other side. Turning this into a bit of a spirit reading now as well. The angel of remembrance. So you actually have an angel on the other side here. They know what you've been waiting for. They know what you've been wanting. They know what you feel like should come by now. But I really actually like that you got the Angel of Remembrance with this type of message because that's showing that the other side sees that whatever you're waiting on will happen for you. Just try to find the peace within. Because I almost feel like some of you are at the moment right now that you're like, well... It should be here now, or this should happen by now, or whatever the case may be, your angel or is one specific angel that you may have been praying to or talking to is coming in and they're saying, Leo, 
Find the peace within your soul. Whatever you're waiting for will come. It literally says trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. So this is not only your spirit team. This is also your passed on. Loved one. Helping as well. So this looks like it could be more of a grander uh, something more grand. Now that we have the Angel of Remembrance, it doesn't have to be as simple. It gives me more of an energy that it's grander now that they're coming in. Let's see. The many DV ghosts you have is the crying ghost. This will pass. So some of you have been crying. Some of you have been crying about this specifically. I mean, that's your message of the reading. This will pass. Some of you have this tattooed on your body for some reason. This, or some of some of you know of somebody that has a tattoo. Like this will pass. This too shall pass. Something along those lines. So this is something that you've been crying about. This is something that you've been really sad over. Really depressed over. And that's exactly why you have 1010 10 and peace. Because they don't want you to stay down for too long. Let yourself feel the emotions that you want to feel. But don't let them... Don't stay there for too long. Wow, you have a really big, very specific message that a lot of my Leos have been crying over something they feel like should have happened for themselves already. Maybe you really want to get married. Maybe you really want to find a home. Maybe you really want to get pregnant. There's something here that Spirit is indicating that you have been sad over that will come. There's just more time needed. And do we ever like that? No. But that's your message. And some of you, it's timely spot on because you have been feeling some type of way about this recently. Maybe even today. Maybe even within the last couple hours. Let's see what the tarot has on this. So you do have an angel on the other side. You do have a passed on loved one. They see your tears. They see you waiting. They see it's hard for you. And they're coming through here wanting you to know that they're helping you as best as they possibly can. Try to uh, activate this person. Talk to them more. Thank them right now. Speak to them right at this moment. Let's see, you have the Two of Cups, the Tower, and the Empress. Wow. And what's Leo's challenge position for the next 24, I mean 48 hours? Where is Leo feeling challenged? Where is Leo feeling challenged? Knight of Wands. Okay, so I definitely feel like something could be surprising to you. Some of you really want commitment. Some of you really are wanting to find your person and that's what you have been upset over. Some of you may really want commitment out of a certain person and that's what you've been wanting. Some of you, this could also be a lack of consistency with a job, a lack of consistency with a friend, a lack of consistency with love. It looks like your challenge is the Knight of Wands. So the challenge could be intimacy. The challenge could also be a lack of consistency. Either in a connection or with finding a connection or finding someone that you could trust. You know, some of you wanting to buy a house. 
wanting to find a trustworthy realtor. It looks like your challenge is inconsistency or just feeling like something is just like you think it's going to happen and then it doesn't. You think it's going to happen and then it doesn't. Clarify this for Leo, please. Some of you emperors definitely revolving around a child or growth of a family. Six of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. High Priestess. Wow. All right. So you have the tower here to the Page of Pentacles. So whatever you're waiting for, it's actually supposed to come in in a surprising way. So the more you wait on it, the more you stare at it, the more you sit next to the pot that you're waiting for it to boil, the more it's not boiling. It looks like whatever you are being patient on, whether it's that job, that stability in a relationship, that child, that home, that apartment, that relationship, that person, that offer, whatever the case may be, it's going to be different for all of you. This is general. It's actually supposed to be surprising. Like, in your fate, in your destiny, whatever the case may be. Whatever you are waiting at the door for, it's not supposed to come in that way. It's not supposed to open the door and you're waiting right there for it. This is something that's supposed to come to you in a surprise. This is something that's supposed to come to you when you just merely stop thinking about it. Or when you find yourself distracted by other things. So yes, you may be feeling down in the dumps. You may be feeling upset. You may be feeling some type of way. But this is some sort of blessing or abundance that's supposed to come as a quantum surprise. You're not supposed to feel this energetically brewing for some reason. I mean, if everything was predictable, how would life really be? You know, quantum field likes to surprise us. And this is specifically something that is fated to be a surprise for you. So that offer of commitment, that love, that abundance, that home, that baby, that proposal, that person, and the physical. Maybe they're not even around you yet. They're supposed to be surprising. So spirit is indicating the more you wait at the door, the more you wait with your hands crossed and your shoulders hunched over or you're just in that position of entitlement, it's almost like the more it's not coming. Or it's just not the time. Because I don't even feel like for some of you it's the waiting I just feel like specifically it's supposed to be a surprise for you. So this is what I got. Leo, you're not waiting in vain. You're not waiting in vain. It's just this person, this place, this offer, whatever you're waiting on, it's supposed to surprise you. So let's see what you got going on in your love life here, Leo. Some of you, this definitely could be connected to your love life, waiting for that person, waiting for that offer. But let's see what's going on next 48 in your love life. See what your position's doing. You have creativity. And you have spiritual maturity. There you go. So the more you spiritually mature, the more you open up to endless possibilities, the more spirit can bring you something grand. Some of you are going to be connecting to somebody who you feel like is on your level spiritually. You know, that's worth the wait. 
for sure. How often do you meet somebody who's spiritually on the level of, I mean, we're here watching tarot and oracle. So some of you, it's worth the wait for that spiritual connection. Some of you, it's all in your mind's eye right now. It's all to be imagined. And spirit is indicating they're going to bring you a strong spiritual mature energy. Some of you, it's worth the wait for this person to mature and awaken to this connection. Because if the offers were given now, maybe they wouldn't follow through. There's something about the time isn't now. But when the time is now, you'll know why it had to be in that moment. This is real high consciousness message here, spirit. I'll tell you that. And I feel like they're doing it to me because I'm sick. And they know when you're sick, you kind of like half of your brain is all fogged up. So I feel like I'm able to get the downloads a little bit more. What's going on for love for Leo? Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Hmm. Queen of Swords, Strength, Emperor. All right. Male or female, doesn't matter. I see you moving out of your feminine energy into some masculine energy here. It's like the more you find strength in your feminine side, the more your masculine side could take over as well. And find that equilibrium balance within for a connection. There could be some sisters involved. You have sisters. They have sisters. You may meet somebody here of a business owner. Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Chariot. You're finding strength in your feminine side. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You're figuring out a way to become softer with yourself. Instead of being so hard on yourself, instead of telling yourself, well, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have said that, or maybe if in 2005, if you didn't let this person go, we wouldn't be here right now, you're becoming kinder to yourself. Page of Cups. And in turn, you could have this person become very much, much more kinder towards you. If you have somebody around you, it's showing that the kinder you are to yourself, the nicer this person is to you. I don't know if they're mean to you or they just have some snappy energy sometimes. But spirit is indicating to become softer with yourself within. Some of you may live at a distance from somebody here and there's finally travel towards that. Travel forward. Travel for this connection. Indicating to really get the connection moving. Let's see, why is the chariot here? Some of you are really moving on from being mean to yourself. I don't know why I'm four of wands. There it is. Right to a connection, right to a proposal, right to that relationship energy. If you are a masculine Leo, I feel like you may have options. If you are a feminine Leo, I feel like you could also have options. Only if you are single. I get a choosing energy. So if you are a masculine Leo and you have options, I definitely feel like you are coming into more decision-making energy of deciding on a relationship. 
If you are a feminine Leo who has options, I feel like this person is going to step up and ask you for a relationship. Whether they know you have options or not, it doesn't matter. If you are in a relationship, it looks like you're removing something from the connection. So if you're in a relationship, not in a relationship, or just connecting to somebody, it doesn't really matter. If you have somebody, or you feel like you have somebody, there's an energy of moving into some more kindness. I honestly feel like for some of you, especially feminine energy, it looks like you pulled out, you pulled back pretty grand. I don't know what this person was doing to you, being dry, being stubborn, possibly even being mean. I feel like you pulled back, you decide to be kinder to yourself instead of, you know, letting it get to you. And the energy of, well, what did I do wrong to this person for them to be mean to me or for them to be this way towards me? You're kind of in a realization of, well, that's them. And somehow, some way, it's releasing this tension. So I get a decision on a relationship. I get somebody maturing here. Or maturing and making a decision on this connection to either be kinder, nicer, and or more towards a relationship. I don't know where the kind and mean energy is coming in, but that could have been. Or you may have just felt like this person was just not on the level of giving in that energy if you have been. So this is what I got. In terms of zodiac signs, you have Aries. Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, <coughs> Libra, Taurus. So let's get you an ending oracle. Leo. What ending oracle do we want to receive? Let's do one. Let's do an astro code. I know I don't normally use these as ending oracles, but there is a book and I'm feeling like I want to do whatever I want to do. So let's see. Maybe you'll get a zodiac sign. Maybe you'll get a planet. Maybe you'll get an asteroid. Maybe you'll get something else, but let's just see. And we'll read it from the book. See what it's all about. Leo, comment your wishes down below. We're doing Wish Flash Friday on Friday and flashing some wishes. You have the first house. Hello. What a beautiful card. Arrival. First house ruled by Aries. Just moved out of Aries season. But we did just have a beautiful eclipse in Aries here. So first house, card 39. Let's read it up. The first house describes how you enter the world, your first impressions, and the birth of your journey in self-discovery. If your chart were a village map, the first house would be the gateway and information center. Plants in the first house are just about to rise over the eastern horizon, where the sun would be just before dawn, so we feel them strongly. The action of this card means to take responsibility for how you are perceived. As you walk in the door, assess what you lead with, what your mannerisms, appearance, and signals say. Notice if you lead with charm or prickly defenses, with your mind or heart, or whether you are versatile, changing your approach to fit the circumstance. Investigate how this first impression affects your identity and interactions. People read what you put out, whether you are acting as a business, as a person, or as a couple. And it's up to you to ensure that you present yourself, the way you present yourself matches with your intention. If you feel misunderstood, look for misperception, sorry, yours or theirs underneath any tension and see what can be done to clear this lens. If you strive to be invisible, neutral, or enjoy an air of mystery, and play your cards close to your chest, 
It becomes easier for others to project their assumptions onto you. Consider becoming more transparent and letting your inner worth shine. The first house can also bring with it a surge of temper or other strong emotions that rushes to your head like mercury in a hot thermometer. If this happens, bring awareness back down to your feet. This metaphor also applies to a business or project. Leadership may be too strong and attention needs to be brought back to the boots on the ground. You are challenged to see beyond the shallowness of appearances See beyond smoke screens and take responsibility for how you are perceived. Evaluate how you interact with the world as the beginning of a journey of self-discovery. Well, could be going through that for sure. Or maybe find yourself in this energy within the next 48. Thank you, my beautiful Leos. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye now. Oh. It didn't want to end the reading. And you know what's so weird? Is I just thought of something. Some of you may have a rising Leo placement or Leo in the first house somewhere. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>